Hello. We're back. We're, uh, punching it again. Uh, so yeah. It is currently, uh, Tuesday, I think. In, in game, I mean. In the game, it's Tuesday. We got through Monday. <laughs> I think, but there's a new video we can check out. <clears throat> so let's do that. The real estate update. Um, four six five Lake Avenue, one bed, two bathrooms, one thousand square feet. Well. I don't know, would you buy it? I don't know. Nine eight three Barry Lane, two bed, three bathrooms. Uh thousand six hundred square feet. That's uh hundred and four thousand dollars. You know, there's a couple new stories. Well, wait, I'm sorry. I, I'm what I mean is there's a an added story to the house. This one's just one one story. It looks like a one story building. That's what I mean. <laughs> this one has at least another story to it. <clears throat> 98 Parkway Street for bed, five bathrooms. Wow. It's a little much for me. I don't really need that many. <laughs> I don't need that many bedrooms or bathrooms. Community alert. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway, wait, hang on. Parkway County, Barry County. Oh, no. <clears throat> uh, one, one, two, Peanut Avenue. I'm tempted to buy this house just for the street name, the Avenue. <laughs> I want to live on Peanut Avenue. I don't care what house I get for that. I don't know. Uh, two bed, two bathrooms, uh... Uh, three, well, a thousand and three hundred square feet. Or is that a point? One point three hundred square feet. If it is, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a. I think it's a point. I think it's a decimal. That's a comma. All right. Well, <clears throat> I look like an idiot, but you know what? I don't care. I'm sticking with what I said. This is the missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker Mail. Also, hang on. Wait a second. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County. These houses, Parkway Street, Lake Avenue, Barry Lane. Didn't say anything about Lake Avenue, but or yeah, Lake Avenue, but Parkway Street and Barry Lane. These these are places where they're they're missing people, I guess. on Barry Lane. Wearing yeah. a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes, suspect is described <laughs> to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person. 
hours of last what? at approximately 1025 a. All right, now that <laughs> that's an eerie image. Again, um, nine eight zero, Barry Lane, five beds, two. Uh, I don't know where I got to. I wasn't looking at this screen actually. I was still looking at the picture when I said that. Uh, six bathrooms. I wasn't paying attention. I think I saw this this too. And all right. <clears throat> oh God. <laughs> Uh, square feet. And please report any that is an eerie image, though. I, I do, I do not want to give, uh, go there. I don't want to live there. No, thank you. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Why was I sent that? I have no idea. <clears throat> All right, the new one. Uh, it's from the same person who gave me a warning before. It's too late for you now. It's you. Wait. Tfei gave you. Or they, I guess, they gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up like me, uh, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe here. All right. <clears throat> then I got <laughs> an email from corporate. Okay. Like, all right, dude, this is uh, all well and good, but, like, you know, I got a job to do, so, like, whatever. <clears throat> uh, I ain't getting paid to <laughs> listen to your ramblings. Uh, attention call team. Our network team is migrating our back-end services over to a new hosting provider this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Uh-oh. I don't like that. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you are on the phone with a client. You will still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of... Uh, the network status. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. Well, isn't that just the way? <sighs> it's too true to life. Like, we don't care that, you know, our system is broken now. You still need to do a good job. Hello? Oh, it's a Wednesday. All right. Yeah, it's been a while, <laughs> so I, I forgot what day it was in the, in the game. All right. You know, I, I've been trying to play this game more often, you know, to actually get through. Oh, let's clock in. <clears throat> uh, before October ends, you know, I want to play more games. More spooky games, but... uh. I just haven't had the time. I've been busy lately. All right. Hey, what do you want? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I didn't know it was you. I didn't know it was you. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, hey, and also, uh, did you, is that how you answer everyone's calls? Uh, uh, I, I, I swear I'm not that rude. Uh, and then I just hang up. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> New entries. 
false artifact. That's weird. Farce. Oh my god. False artifacts are seemingly human design objects that can uh, manifest subtly. Yeah, okay. Oh. Hello, what do you want? I was reading here. There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. I see. Please hold. Please hold. Uh, manifests suddenly inside a home. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds. They can usually only be heard by very young human children or small animals. Homeowners with false artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children or pets. Danger. <clears throat> false artifacts while not direct while not a, a direct threat to adult humans can pose a significant risk to small human children and animals that's weird should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact they are at risk of being encased within once encased, no noise made by the prey can be heard, while digestion can take upwards of several years to complete, starvation can be a uh, more pressing concern. Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> oh god. Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. <clears throat> HSH pest removal services should be called to come and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. Okay. The memory wisp. <laughs> And basically, that's just saying, like, if it's already, if a, a pet or a loved one is in there, that's it. They're like, you, you, there's nothing they can do, even. <laughs> it's like, jeez. All right. False rose bush. Oh. That's weird. False rose bushes are large plant like creatures that most commonly take on the appearance of a rose bush. A red rose bush. In place of roots, these creatures have two small humanoid feet. Oh my god, I see them. <laughs> that they use to chase down prey. Homeowners with false rose bushes sometimes report missing pets or children. What, again? False rose bushes pose incredible danger to homeowners with children or pets, as their diet consists of small mammals. And they are known to be fast and efficient hunters. Homeowners without children or pets face a reduced risk, as they cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. Alright. Well, that's interesting. Lamp Sprite. Oh, I, I really like that. I think that's a cool image. Lamp Sprites are a common subspecies of Sprite that make their homes inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell in the home. 
Lamp sprites are not dangerous to humans unless provoked. Do not, under any circumstances, turn off the lamp or attempt to uh, reach your hand inside the lamp when actively inhabited. <clears throat> wow. So I, what I was thinking is like, what if it just goes out on its own? Like, would it be mad? But I, I see here that it, it says lamp sprites will leave on their own once their lamp of choice goes out on its own. At this point, they will attempt to seek out a new lamp to prevent a lamp sprite from rehoming itself. Ensure all household lamps are turned off until the uh, exp expiration period. Uh, when the lamp sprite fails to find an active lamp, <clears throat> it will leave the, the home on its own. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Memory Wisp. That's so weird. Note, due to clerical error, the audio sample provided above is incorrect. This issue will be corrected by the end of the month. Or is that just what you want me to think? Memory Wisps are invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Homeowners infested with memory wisps will often report missing pictures, photos, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Um, <clears throat> they're not da uh, danger to the physical health of humans, however their ability to affect human memory can sometimes lead to household accidents or reckless activity. Alright. Mirror Nymph. Oh, that's cool. Mirror Nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that uh, are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passers-by. Passers-by. Well, whatever. <laughs> They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Uh, mirror nymphs, although a nuisance, are not a direct danger to humans. Uh, they will wander to different locations provided nobody looks into their mirror. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. Alright. <clears throat> Tea Sprite. Ooh, that's... Mm. Don't like that. <laughs> I do not want to find that in my tea. Not that I drink tea, I guess. I, I don't really drink tea, but I don't want to find that in any of my drinks. All right. Any drink that I'm drinking. The tea sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known to feed off of a uh, tea and tea leaf residue. Uh, homeowners infested with tea sprites commonly report leaf-like droppings so, uh, and surround uh, and sounds of fluttering near kitchens. They're not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal fay flu. <laughs> oh my God. 
should be removed as soon as possible. Interesting. Toilet hob? Oh no! Toilet hobs are a subspecies of hob. <laughs> but can they metamorphosize? Like most hobs, they bear false faces and have two separate clumps of wispy hair on each side of their heads. Like most hobs, they tend to clean their homes when they are active at night, keeping the toilets they inhabit nearly spotless. But like, what if you use it? You know, what if you, what if you crap on it? Does it do something? Like what? When you flush your waste, what does it do? Does it just hang out in the pipes? Does it hang out, like, somewhere else in the bathroom and just hide until you're done? <clears throat> uh, they're not dangerous on their own, but their physical presence within the toilet they inhabit may result in plumbing problems over time, such as leaks or clogs. They, uh, like any other hob, they are also capable of metamorphos metamorphosing. That's the word. I think I said metamorphosizing earlier. I think that, yeah, I was wrong. You know what I mean. It's right there. They are capable. That's all I wanted to know. Oh my god, there's so many. Alright, I'm not going to read all of these 100%. Unicorn fungi? Oh my god, I see it. I was like, why is there a dog? <laughs> but I, I see the actual unicorn horn. The rare horn-shaped fungus. Known to grow on heads of furry mammals and household pets. Interesting. They often, I love the creatures in this game. They're so cool. Like, that's an awesome idea for, like, a living creature. It's a, a fungi that attaches itself to the foreheads of mammals and stuff. And it looks like a unicorn horn. They're not directly harmful to humans. But they can often lead to other household problems, such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up uh, other things beneath the soil. See, there's that reference again to things living under the soil. I've seen it a couple times. Also, I didn't read this part. Uh, causing them to be drawn... Yeah, they often affect the animal's disposition. Causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside their home. <clears throat> There's something going on there. I don't like it. Whistling fungi. There's small mushroom like gross. Uh, these small holes that are uh, in their caps that frequently grow through drywall gaps and cracks. People uh, infested with these things uh, often report a dissonant whistling sound coming from their walls. Oh man. Warning, if you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, Evacuate your home immediately. Whistling fungi are very, uh, wait, are rare, rarely dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. Okay. If you hear a bunch of these at the same time, it could destroy your house. Like, that's why they're telling you to leave. Wine Sprite? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 
Wine sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming wine. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't, you know? What sprite doesn't consume wine? Well, I guess none of them do except for this one. That was a stupid comment. Anyway, they are small, large-eyed, winged creatures with translucent skin. Often appear uh, that often appear red appears red while they are feeding. Have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Mourners infested with wine sprites commonly report broken glasses. And their wine having a rotten taste and smell. <clears throat> They're not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases. Including the fatal fey flu, just like the other ones. Just like the other sprites. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think... Uh, <clears throat> you're supposed to mix sprite with wine. I don't think anyone likes that. Yeah, it's a, a gross combination for a lot of people. I don't know. It sounds bad to me. <clears throat> Wood secretions. It's, uh, Wood secretions are a pink, viscous liquid substance that can be... Uh, that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. Don't drip from wooden materials such as furniture or walls, uh, causing a stick, sticky, sticky pooling buildup. Well, they can be deadly to humans, causing rapid uh, translation of flesh if ingested. I don't quite know what that means. <clears throat> I don't know. I've never seen the word translation used in this kind of context, so I have no idea. Maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. But anyway, keep animals and human children away from secretions at all costs. Oh, okay. As its foul odor will be interpreted as a sweet candy-like smell to them, making them practically... Success, su oh my God, <sighs> Jesus, <laughs> susceptible to accidental ingestion. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> oh my God, it's a Bogart. Bogart. That's in the intro, I think. That's this is the image that's in the intro when you first start the game. That was probably the scariest sound effect here. This, the audio sample. That was horrifying. I hated that. Uh, <laughs> but this is interesting. Bogarts are the... Uh, it is gener the general term for a metamorph... Uh, metamorphosed... Metamorpho... Metamorphosed... Oh, metamorphosized. <laughs> My god. Like, what... <laughs> Wow. Okay, so I looked it up, and I was right. It's metamorphosed. There it is. And the definition is actually interesting. Uh, it's apparently of an insect or amphibian having undergone metamorphosis. Especially into the adult form. Uh, 
So that's an interesting little uh, tidbit there for the for the Hobbs. Are they some sort of amphibious creature or insectoid? I don't know. But there you go. <laughs> that's uh that's interesting. Uh, they <clears throat> they're fairly they they're. They are large, hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall and bear fairly convincing false faces. They are known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, or electric outages. They also frequently observe their targets while they sleep. They are extremely dangerous to humans and pets. Due to their malicious nightly household activities, they can often cause uh, <clears throat> cause injury or death. They also react very violently when seen by humans. But thankfully, these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Mm, that's really bad. I mean, just just imagine that your your power goes out, and you're like you go down into the basement to like you know where. Uh, I assume you're like term the breaker or something like, you know, where you, where the fuses are. You're gonna you're gonna go down there, look at the fuses. You're gonna see what happened. And then you hear, you start hearing these noises down here. <laughs> you're like, wait, what? <laughs> and you open the door and you see this. And then it comes running at you. Horrifying. <clears throat> Ugh. So yeah, don't make any of these hobs mad because uh apparently they can metamorphose metamorphose metamorphosis zizzes metamorphize into that thing, whatever that is. Alright, alright. Time to actually do my job here. It's been thirty five minutes now. I've been keeping track of the time. Ugh. I haven't... This poor guy's been on a hold. There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge. Almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the Could top be of this. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. <clears throat> as big as a dog I mean you know it's kind of size of a dog like a big dog this is the first thing that I thought when he said this the cellar grows a large species of fungi that are known to grow in dark damp environments such as cellars uh report slimy residue the sound of dripping or stretching or strange glows coming from their cellar. That might not be it then. He didn't report any glowing. He just said he didn't get close enough to see what it was. But he apparently... Uh, I've seen it. It's huge. So if he's seen it, and he did not... He would have reported it to be glowing. If it was. He would have said, like, I've seen it, it's glowing. <laughs> like, that would be, like, the first thing you would notice. So, yeah. I don't think it's that. I don't know, it could be a, a bog heart. <laughs> Although, if he saw it, then he might not 
be well off enough to, uh, to even call. Because they're extremely violent uh, when seen by humans. Alright. Let's see here. Something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge. Almost as big as my dog. Doesn't hiss or growl or anything. <clears throat> but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is, since it's always lurking just outside of sight. It didn't say that. Just out of sight. <clears throat> From the top of the stairs. <clears throat> I need someone to come get this thing. Out of my basement. As soon as possible. Lock the door since I can't. <clears throat> I could still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. So it could be. It could be a, a bog art. Uh, I'm hope I, I hope I'm saying that right. Bog art, bog art. <clears throat> it could be because it, he says that he's seen it, but he also says that it's always just out of sight. So maybe he means he's seen it through the corner of his eye. Like there's something down there. He didn't directly look at it, or at least it doesn't know that he's seen it. Maybe I don't know. But he's locked the door, and he and he keeps hearing the steps creaking. So it it's going up and down like the stairs and stuff under its weight. And as you can hear from the audio sample, it does walk around. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know if they would give you a guy. You know. I don't think bog art <clears throat> would be the solution to, like, right when you just get it. I don't know. House fires? Could be a house fire. You never know. The fire's trying to get, <laughs> get through the door, but it can't. Because he locked it. Ugh. Well, I don't know. I just, I, uh, I genuinely don't know. The only two things that I'm thinking is the... Is it a stair slug? I forgot. Oh, it might be. Okay. I guess I completely forgot about the stair slug. Stair slugs are large dog-sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on the steps or other household inclines, which he did not. Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs. <laughs> But the slimy residue they leave behind can lead to dangerous accidents and slippage, if not properly cleaned after. Mm. We can simply surround the affected stairway. Mm. Should you wish to remove a stair slug from the household, one can simply surround the affected stairway with a thick barrier of salt. Do not attempt to uh, to apply salt directly. If the slug has dehydrated itself, you can dispose of its body. Jeez. I mean, it could be that. He didn't say anything about the stairs being slimy. Almost as big as my dog. So I, I don't think it's the, the Bogart because they're bigger than that. Doesn't hiss or growl or anything. But I haven't gotten close enough. So that's why he maybe didn't report the slimy residue on the steps, because he didn't get close to it. So he wouldn't know. 
It's always lurking just out of sight from the top of the stairs. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm going stair slug. I could be wrong, but I'm just going to go with it. Because I've been wrong before when I'm like, when I'm overthinking it. And I'm like, no, no, no. They wouldn't just make it that easy, you know? And then I pick a different thing and it was like, no, it wasn't, it wasn't correct. You, you were right the first time. So I'm going to do this. Yeah, you got a stair slug. Don't worry about it. Send someone over right away. All right, next caller. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> 44 minutes and I finally got back to him. Yeah, sorry, sir, you, you, but you got a stair slug. Hello, what do you want? Well, <laughs> I got something wrong. I don't remember this lady. It's like, oh, uh, sorry, I don't remember what I told you. So, uh, yeah, bye. <laughs> I don't remember what I told her. <laughs> but I guess I got it wrong. Oops. <laughs> Oops. All right. <clears throat> So, uh... <laughs> uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Hello, what do you want? I'm sorry, I mean, hello, what do you want? I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Along with this... Ugh. <laughs> Please hold. It's coming from the th the faucet. <clears throat> Hang on. <clears throat> Could be a. Uh... I don't know, is it a faucet hob? Or I guess it's a drain hob. Right? Is that what it is? Where is it? No. Uh... There's pipe hob. There's subspecies of hob known for making homes on this. Uh, so it's just pipes. Uh, they bear no false face. Commonly emerge from their homes at night and consume many dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding areas. Cleaning it in the process. says there's no weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet. <clears throat> no. Anyway, uh while I'm trying to figure this out, uh actually talk about 
I actually, uh, I, I watched recently, um, the new, the newest episode of, uh, the amazing digital circus. And I gotta say every episode that comes out, I just, <laughs> it proves me right every time. I'm just like, this is a good show. It just genuinely is a, it's a great show. With great writing, great characters, great humor. It's just great animation. I love it. It's so good. I'm not gonna like spoil anything, but it's pretty good. And I do recommend that show. I mean, it's not gonna be for everyone, obviously, but like, you know. But it's definitely for me. <laughs> yeah. Not sure what to do with this. Um, it says it's coming from the bathroom faucet, but I don't know, like... Frozen pipes? No. I doubt it would be from that. I have no idea. I literally don't know. Um. Got a false artifact in there. Fly. I'm sorry. I, I'm gonna definitely talk about the amazing digital circus at some point. I gotta, I gotta talk about it. It's so good, and the writing is so great. The storytelling itself. There's a lot of setup, and um, payoffs. <clears throat> There's stuff in episode three that's revealed about one of the characters that like if you go back to episode two you know and with this new information it puts him in a new light you know there's a, there's a, a scene in episode two where it's like oh he actually did a thing that applies to what we what is revealed about him in episode three. I think that was vague enough for no for you to not be spoiled. But uh, I don't know. Or maybe that just didn't make any sense unless you know what I'm talking about. One of these days I'm gonna have to talk about that show because it's pretty great. Alright. <clears throat> Toilet hubs. He said it was coming from the faucet. The bathroom faucet. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this, uh, nasty smell. Pipe girls are known to make loud bubbling digestion noises after they eat a full meal. You did say it. Oh God! You did say it uh, makes a nasty sound. <clears throat> Maybe this will help, actually. I don't know. It could be a pipe growth, you know, something in the pipes. Every time he turns it on. He didn't say that it's clogged though. He said he doesn't say that the water doesn't 
come out of the faucet when he turns it on. And I would assume that this would block it, right? And also he would notice that it's like there's something growing in the in the freaking pipes, yeah. <laughs> there's something makes the pipes bigger. I don't know. doesn't say anything about like if you turn it on like what happens to it or if like where it hides out I, I assume it wouldn't hide out in the faucet it's in the drain you know it's in the pipes and stuff so I, what I was thinking is if you turn on the water it would go down there and it would probably like you know make some noises from that but Again, that's coming from the drain, not the actual faucet itself. So I have no idea. I, I, uh, I literally have no idea. This game is too hard. And toilet hobs are in the toilet. So... I don't think it's a bat. Bed teeth, um... Yeah, I literally don't know. I have absolutely, absolutely no idea. Yeah, I'm completely lost. Frozen pipes, let's see this. Common house household hazard. Cold season, uh... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Homeowners with frozen pipes may report strange faucet smells. Banging and whistling sounds coming from the pipes or leakage. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just frozen. He says that he hears weird sounds. And there's a hey, uh, gross smell. I'm going with that. I just, it's as good an answer as I'm gonna get to. Because I, I don't know. It's the only thing that I can think of. Again, I'm probably wrong, but you know what? Let's just go for it. <laughs> well. I think I'm doing well. <laughs> That's a lie. I don't think I'm doing well at all. Hey, what do you want? My wife. I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. I can't see her face. She's dead. I can't see her face. Uh, I guess I got that one wrong, but again, I don't remember what I did. I don't remember what I what answer I gave you. So, uh... oh wait, no, put on hold. Please hold. Okay, never mind, never mind. This is a new caller, or he's calling back. Cause I don't know, this image looks familiar to me, so I don't know. <laughs> again, it's been a while since I've played this game, so it's been, uh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, my wife, I can't, her face is gone. I can't see her face. I can't see her face. She's dead, and I can't see her face. They're all gone. It's all gone. That's, uh... My god. Could be a memory wisp. 
my wife, I can't see her face. Maybe it's not literal. Maybe he doesn't actually, like, see her body and her face is gone. Because that's what I thought. I thought when he was saying this, um... Like, he's seeing her body, but he can't see her face. But I think it's a memory thing. I think, uh, uh, I can't see her face. It's gone. Uh, she's dead. And I can't see her face. They're all gone. It's all gone. Wow. So... They're all gone. It's all gone. Makes me... Okay. Uh, that was weird. The music stops for a second there. I was like, uh oh. What, what did I... What did I do? <clears throat> but yeah, this is what... It's making me think that... Because uh, the memory wisps, they steal your memories of people. Or often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna say you got a you got a memory wisp around here. Maybe several. I don't know. But don't worry, we'll send a guy. There we go. I think it's memory wisp. It's gotta be. If it's not, then I don't know what else it could possibly be. So yeah, there you go. That was a, a fast one. <laughs> okay. Hey, what do you want? Oh god, it's you. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. So I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. Have to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. <laughs> now, what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? I gotta grab you by the goober and smack you around. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Like, and he's laughing too. Like, is he just a prank caller? Like, is that what's going on? What you gonna do to make this right? And he just hangs up. It's like, who are you? <laughs> Ugh. I don't know why I clicked that. Well. <laughs> Hello, what do you want? Uh, hi? I, uh, have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them, and oh. my legs like crazy. This is an easy Do one. I need to be showering more often or something. I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it. I know exactly what you got. I don't even need to put you on hold, but I will anyway cuz that's how it, the game works, but <clears throat> But uh they threw an easy one at me. After all that there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I see. Interesting. So yeah, it was a net there's a network error, which is what we were told. So if you didn't read the bed teeth stuff beforehand, then you would not know. Oh no. It's like all of them. Well, network error. This entry could not be loaded. This is likely due to a temporary 
HSH network error. Please try again later. Well, at least I know it this time. Yeah, you got, uh, bed teeth? <laughs> you got some bed teeth, pal. Don't worry. Like, wait, what? <laughs> and then I just hang up on him. Like, wait. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh no, it's still happening. Hopefully I can remember. Hello, what do you want? Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks or maybe it's peeling. I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how <clears throat> naughty that would be. Mm. Please hold. Oh no, it's still doing it. Did the music change too? Oh god. Alright. <clears throat> it could be a fracture hob this time. Oh hey, it's working. Alright. Uh... Yep, they're known to cause cracks and fractures in the walls of the uh, the homes they inhabit. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna say you got a fracture hob. I don't think I've used that before, but yeah, that's a fracture hob. All right. <laughs> Hello, what do you want? Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Uh -oh. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! Jeez, alright. <laughs> Don't be so rude about it. Called you last week. Oh, I thought it was like a wrong thing. Last week I called you guys. I guess he didn't call before. Or he didn't call me. Uh, Cause this, I'm putting him on hold. So this is a new caller. I didn't get anything wrong this time. <clears throat> That's interesting. So, this guy called before, and, uh, we apparently gave him bad info. <laughs> Probably something to do with the Hobbs. Hang on, he said, uh, coming from his living room. The info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream. That's probably due to the, you know, whatever the Hobbs want. Uh, we're starting to ha have power outages. Our employees. Uh, please hold. That's interesting. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, I don't... What happens if I exit out? Oh, progress will be lost. Yeah, no thanks. Okay, um... <clears throat> Man, I, I don't know. Is it a, a bogart? It says it can cause power outages. But they... It could have been a hob, a hob, originally, like a common hob or whatever, but then it metamorphos, metamorphosed into a bogart. And I wonder, hang on, common hob. Uh, leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. <clears throat> but it's not that so it could have been a hob but then it uh, changed into a bogart because it says he says that there's a you know a power outage Do not, under any circumstances, refer to an active Bogart as, uh, by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises, provided you do not speak of the Bogart at any time. In any fashion, it will remain in its original location. He said the... Oh, wait a second, wait a second. He said it was in the living room. And this says... Uh, in, uh, <clears throat> provided you do not speak of the Bogart at any time, in any fashion, it will remain in its original location. So it could have been a common hob. But for whatever reason, it, you know, it metamorphosed into the, <laughs> this... The Bogart. It doesn't necessarily say that it hangs out in the basement. That's just, you know, what this image reminds me of. And having electrical outages and stuff. That's why I keep thinking, yeah, it hangs out in the basement, but it doesn't have to be the basement. I think he's got a Bogart. It's gotta be, right? I, I can't be wrong on this. I cannot possibly wrong on the. I can't be... Wait. I can't possibly be wrong. <laughs> There's no possible way. Here we go. Accuracy. Oh, that's a lot. But, uh... I don't know. Um... <laughs> mm. 83%. Uh, okay. <laughs> cool. Complete your third day on the job. Wednesdays, am I right? <laughs> okay. Well, we've been going for a while. And, uh, I think it's time to leave, so... <laughs> We will continue this next time, and we'll see if I was right on that one. Uh, I got 83% right, or at least, you know, 83.33334%, which, I don't know. That could just be the game tricking me, like, uh, I don't know. Why would, why the decibel thing, you know? Why that? It's throwing me off here, but... Whatever, we'll see. Uh, until next time, <laughs> goodbye for now.